Okay, so according to the discussion before, you know, the first case, what is to do uh, too late to reduce a dislocated hip when we can make a, a, a reduction a, uh, or it makes no sense to go for a reduction. First of all, what is the, in I show a little bit our incidence in Europe. In Europe, uh, the hip dysplasia is very low or the dislocated hip, that means uh, the, the incidence for a DDH is the same, but the evolution is different because especially in Switzerland, we have 95 to 99% of all the babies have within the first four weeks uh, ultrasound and the second one after six weeks. And this is paid by the government or by the insurance. So all is free. So therefore, the incidence that we see really a dislocated hip, we treat it too late, is very, very low. The most we, cases we see, as we have seen before, are from the immigrants actually in Switzerland. <coughs> In the bilateral situation, sometimes, even with ultrasound, I have seen, we made the investigation, seen, even with ultrasound that they have overlooked when you have a bilateral high dislocation. Because it, then they compare it symmetrically, and sometimes you are lo uh, looking only on the angle and do not look at the head, as we have seen in the first talk, from Eduardo, you know, where is the head in the ultrasound and the manipulation of the head. And then they measure only the angle and say, oh, this is type 3 hip or a type 2 hip, but the head is out. Okay. So this is a case I have uh, from uh, Bolivia. X-ray was sent to me two weeks ago. No, this is long, it was last year. It is more than one year. So the question took the song, can we do something in a child with seven years? Should we go for an open reduction or not? Should we wait, leave it alone? Also, okay. So in my opinion, today we can do this if, if, in the, if we do this in a gentle way. So they consider it. What we can do? Should we make sense? Profit, complication? We have to think, think about this. Would be after reduction the hip stiff or not? Stable or not? What is the future of this hip? Okay. What to do? Depends on the experience and skills of the surgeon. Of course, if you have such a case, seven year old, you have to think about if I'm able to do a correct surgery, or I have to discuss this with my colleague or send it to another clinic, okay? Not only to try. The child is not for the experiment, okay? Experimental surgery. Depends on the technical possibility you have as well, you know? Needs a good team, a good optimal operation technique, and a, a automatic approach. Avoid avian, of course. That at the end, you must have a better result than before. You know the case before you have seen? For operation, the result was a disaster, worse than before the op uh, first operation. This is not the goal, okay? What is the problem? The problem, of course, is the age situation of the acetabulum, situation of the femoral head, additional uh, disease, perhaps, like here. I divide this situation with the dislocated, late dislocated hip in three groups. That means up to three years, as we have seen in the case before, then up between three and 10 years or eight years and over 10 years, you know? And depending on these three groups, I go with another procedure, okay? That is the different situation as you can see here, okay? Situation of the acetabulum you have to consider, spherical or uh, aspherical. Sometimes you can have a spherical a acetabulum like you have it here. This is not a complete spherical, but better than this, this is an existing. And the situation of the cartilage, of course, if there is no cartilage left in the joint, it makes no sense to go for a reduction, then you will have an, a stiff hip in a short time. So you have to look at the acetabulum, and you have to look, uh, you see, this is the different situation. Uh, the older child has a better acetabulum than the younger child, and you have to look at the femur, of course, how looks the head, and we discussed this before. What we can see and what not, this is important. You know what we can see here, okay? The head is here, like this. This is a flat zone. We see this always because of the pressure. And therefore, this we have to recognize in a, when we go for an open reduction. Okay. So the group one is up to three years. As I mentioned before, even in this situation, as I said, I try to make a, re a close reduction. I go over skin traction, as you have seen, gentle open reduction. If I get not a, redu a reduced hip, in our hand, we go a, in our hand, a femur osteotomy is not required. We nearly, in the normal DDH hip, we never make an osteotomy on the femur. 
the, the femur is not pathologic. This is only an adaptation to this situation. And over 40, 50, uh, 40 years, we ne never did it, and we have good results. I guess better sometimes than we uh, as a public. Then the group two is three years up to 10 or eight years. Gentle open reduction, we go primary to an open reduction. We do not try to make a, a traction. In our hand, femur osteotomy shortening is again not required in this situation because we go for a triple osteotomy. Once the, a, a, the, the acetabulum is free, you can rotate without any pressure on the head, the acetabulum around the head, or in an older child, then we go also up to eight to 10, we go for a colonoplastic. And then we come to the older children like this, you know, this is a very ugly situation. There is no acetabulum here. I said there's no cartilage left here, so it makes no sense to try to make a reduction here, even on the triple or PIO in this way, because there is no good cartilage. Even on the head, we have no good cartilage. So this is the situation we go for triple osteotomy and uh, colonoplastic, especially in this situation. AVN, in our eyes, not only faithful. That you get in this situation after an open reduction in an older child, you know, this is a, is, that has for us only one reason. The high risk factor is for me or for us the surgeon in the first place. The second pain, again the surgeon. And in the third, then the approach, the wrong approach or the wrong technique. And sometimes the situation itself, like in the line of disease. So the open reduction, we go by the Swiss Patterson approach. We, <coughs> in this way, a, at the same time, we can make a PIO or triple, you know, and the approach we do is the cystic skin incision. This is the tensor fasciolata. We go in the fascia of this to prevent any damage of the, uh, the nerve here, the, uh, the cutaneous nerve, and uh, this is the situation. We published all this. This is an old drawing. Today, we do not cut the bone away. We go inside without bone uh, piece. We have less uh, morbidity. This has changed, and then we can go to the capsule down, and we make the reduction. As you see here, this is a younger child. How we do this, and you see, we did not cut away the, uh, the anterior spine here. We, in the meantime, we have learned how to do avoid this, and the morbidity or the problem after the operation is less than with the two screws inside here. So here is a case. You see, you believe, okay, we cannot reduce this. There is no acetabulum left. Uh, you see here the flat zone, as I mentioned before, abduction you show is no reduction. Okay, we have to go for open reduction and triple osteotomy. Here you see the sequences. We visualize the, the level of the uh, ischium osteotomy direct on the teardrop, very close, then for the pubic osteotomy, and then the uh, uh, ischium osteotomy, and this needle indicates where is the labrum. We open a capsule and they, that we see, this is all cartilage. We will we'll not bring this to a horizontal, then you have an overcarriage and you see the situation. And you see again, no osteotomy of the femur, and we see this is a symmetric situation and the femur looks normal. Okay. Here after the evolution. You can say, okay, this is AVN, but this is not AVN. You see the structure inside is okay. The, uh, uh, but it's only a delay in the evolution, okay? Different situation in the CP patient. Of course, the CP patient needs a shortening. You see here, this is no existing acetabulum. This is the, the situation here. And then with an intertrochanteric osteotomy, here we need it in combination with the triple osteotomy. But this is a gentle uh, correction, not an uh, overcorrection in this way. And you see the medialization, and you have a good situation in a CP patient and then symmetrical situation. Okay. Here again, with a, 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 a supported by an arcogram that we see the coverage, you see here and here and here, and then you see the medialization is important, and this gives you a very nice situation in a CP patient, in a, a neglected situation. Okay, thank you very much.